You might not realize it, but computer-generated voices are everywhere. From voice assistants like Siri, to text-to-speech functions on apps like TikTok. With AI progressing really fast, computer-generated voices are now, like, really realistic. But are they becoming too realistic? Here's the forecast for today. My name is Misty. Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. I communicate with a computer system in a box in the back of my wheelchair. Hello, Will. Generated voices are now mostly used for accessibility. Things like the voiceover feature on iOS lets the blind browse the internet and use social media like Facebook and Twitter. It's also used by the telecommunications industry. Every time you call a help desk and there's a robot speaking, that's all the same technology at work. The most impressive use so far has got to be Google Duplex, which can call and book appointments for you with a computer voice that sounds almost too human. Can I book a table for Tuesday the 12th? Okay, cool. And how big is the party? It's for two people. Great. To understand how we got here, let's go back a couple decades to see how this technology developed. The first case of synthesized speech can be tracked all the way back to 1779, when scientist Christian Gottlieb Pratzenstein built a model of the human vocal tract that could produce the five long vowel sounds, A, E, I, O, U. Fast forward to the electronic age, and now we get speech synthesizer chips like in the Speak and Spell toys that can actually say words now, albeit sounding quite robotic still. And then we reach the digital age, where we get computer-generated pop stars like Hatsune Miku and insane celebrity deepfakes. Who's this? It's the tax man, watching your every move. The current technology uses AI to make models of actual human voices that sound quite realistic, but how realistic can they really be? To find out, I'll be testing a couple people from the Soi Chinchao team by playing them both real and fake voices. Their goal is to tell me whether each voice is real or fake. Feel free to play along and put your final score in the comments below. <laughs> All right. Yes. Hello. Hello. All right, so uh, this video is going to be about computer-generated voices. Computer-generated voices, OK. Yeah. What do you know about computer-generated voices? Not that much, I guess. Uh, I mean, I know the basic stuff, like you have your series. OK, Google. TikTok, lor. you know. My girlfriend has... The one yang kita guna Google Translate tu, kita tulis tak tahu nak pronounce kan? Kita tulis dekat Google tu, how to pronounce, ni tekan butang speaker tu. Ni tulis, croissant, uh, contoh lah. So I'm going to play you seven vocal samples. OK. Your job is just to tell me real or fake. OK. Bring it on. Yeah, this is sample one. OK. She earned a doctorate in sociology at Columbia University. <laughs> this is a joke. Is this a joke? Fake. Uh, it's a fake. It's pretty obvious it's fake. I'm going to say this is fake. Uh, let's go for sample number two. Helping a client through their accident claim can be a difficult process. I'm going to say real. Okay. Real. Punya. Human, real. Real. Was there any reason why you, you thought it was real? Uh, she paused for breath. She paused to take a breath. So, cool. robots don't breathe. This is sample three. In this work, we are enhancing photorealism enhancement. Oh my god. Why is it already this hard? Real? Uh, it's a real. Real? I'm gonna say fake, because it sounds like those like YouTube videos where they use like text-to-speech. This is sample four. Karen is the senior AI editor at MIT Technology Review. <laughs> I think it's a real code. Fake. Uh, fake. Okay, if this is real, this fella sounds fake, okay? Maybe it's a fake human being. So I'm gonna say fake. Sample <laughs> five. Okay, cool. A few days later, on January 15th, the vigor of the eruption at the fissure appeared to increase. Spatter deposits built up a cone around the vent. Real. I'm gonna say real. Mm. It's a real. So I didn't the noise. So I feel like the noise is like the background. Um, real, because uh, you can hear him exhale in between uh, pauses. Mm. So yeah. <laughs> now I'm nervous. <laughs> uh, sample six. Okay. Yeah. I can bring these dreams to you and show you this part of myself once more. Mm, real. It's a real. 
<laughs> oh my god! It sounds good. It sounds real. I'm gonna say real. Yeah, it's real. Okay. I'm st I'm starting to doubt myself, but yeah, it's uh, it's real. Okay, right. go. This is the last sample, sample seven. Last sample. And this has two people talking. You know? Okay, two people talking. So, am are they both? Do I say both real or both fake They're or is there both fake or both real? Oh, okay. Mom raised me. You were never really here for me. She's not coming back here. Chamo vija. Serio. Boleh ke jadi yang macam kalau benda tu text to speech dia boleh macam build emotion? I don't know what do you think. Uh, tak kuat. Real. I want to say it's fake because my gut tells me it's fake. Real. Okay. Real. Let's do it. All right. Real. Okay. So let's tally up your scores. Had a scope lah. Yeah. <clears throat> You got two out of seven correct. <laughs> One out of seven. King. Oh, sorry. Oh my god. One out of seven. Holy. <laughs> Three out of. Seven. <laughs> Do you actually want to like listen back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, actually, I'll play all of them for you, and I'll tell you beforehand if it's fake or real. Okay. okay. The first one is real. She earned a doctorate in sociology at Columbia University. Serious, ah? I thought it's a fake. She's terrible. <laughs> she can be replaced by a artificial intelligence. The second one is fake, and you said it was real. Second one was fake. Helping a client through their accident claim can be a difficult process. Oh, tapi I can hear the voice, macam breathing, <laughs> macam take, take yeah, breath. Yeah, yeah, synthetic breathing. <laughs> Robots don't breathe. They don't need to, right? Yeah. The only one you got right is sample three. You said it was real and it's real. Okay. In this work, we are enhancing photorealism enhancement. Actually, if I don't know, I can say this is fake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. The last four are all fake and you said it was all real. So. Dang it! <laughs> Karen is the senior AI editor at MIT Technology Review. How can? A few days later, on January 15th, the vigor of the eruption at the fissure appeared to increase. Spatter deposits <sighs> built up a cone around the vent. Dude, it wasn't. I'm just guessing then. <laughs> oh my god, okay. I can bring these dreams to you and show you this part of myself once more. Hmm. It's all much real, but the articulation is smooth. Mom raised me. You were never really here for me. She's not coming back here. It's a computer generated. All computer. <laughs> Damn it. I'm amazed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, was it easier or harder than you thought? Mm, harder. <laughs> uh, harder than I thought. Harder. Definitely harder. When you approach me with this idea, I'm like, whatever, you know. It'll be super easy to discern a fake voice than a real voice. This like really uh, blew my mind in terms of like how far artificial intelligence have, has come along. You might ask, how did these voices get so good? The answer lies in emotion. As humans, we don't really speak perfectly. There's always a lot of imperfections. We need to take breaths, say, um, ah, uh, you know. So the key to making computer speech sound realistic is by adding those imperfections in. The last two samples I played were made by a company called Sonantic, and they specialize in making AI voices that are expressive. For example, Siri and TikTok only use words for the input, so the results are pretty flat. Sonantic, on the other hand, allow you to specify the emotion, pacing, and even the pitch contour of the lines. When you add in breaths and background music, it's almost impossible to tell the difference between a computer and a human. At this point, I think it's pretty clear that this technology is not something to be taken lightly. Even though it could be used for good, AI voices could be quite dangerous when put in the wrong hands. Two years ago, scammers used AI to mimic a CEO's voice and actually got about a million ringgit from the company. And recently, people are actually mimicking celebrities without their permission, too. In a documentary about the late chef Anthony Bourdain, 
The filmmaker actually used AI to make Anthony say words he's never even said out loud before. You were successful, and I am successful, and I'm wondering, are you happy? That is actually not Bourdain, according to Neville, but voiced by artificial intelligence. We can't just stop the technology from progressing, but what we can do is learn to adapt and develop policies to prevent the abuse of AI voices. It's like, it's like where, we are now, um, where, where we are now with regards to social media, but it's times a thousand in terms of the factor. Like social media, the rules, regulations um, can't keep up. There is, there is no regulation on social media. And we're struggling to comprehend the impact that, the, that has on teenagers and on people with addition on social media, with TikTok and things like that, right? Imagine that multiplied by 1,000 when AI comes to like a, a state of maturity where we cannot even discern real people and, and, and artificial intelligence. So I'm optimistic, but you know, the rules and regulations have to keep up. So what do you think? Are you optimistic for the future of AI voices or are you scared of the future it might bring? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to Soy Chinchao, follow our TikTok, and I'll see you next time. Bye.